Hey everyone, it's Julie. Today we'll be making a Nutella chocolate cake with a Nutella cream cheese frosting. One of the best cakes I've ever ate. Valentine's is bright around the corner, so I wanted to do something chocolatey and red, and this is the best thing I came up with. So let's get started. So into a bowl goes in two eggs, a little splash of vanilla extract, some vegetable oil, milk, sugar, Nutella, basically all of your wet ingredients, and we are going to give that a whisk. And I originally wanted to make a chocolate butter cake, meaning I'd use softened butter instead of oil and boiling water, and I'd just cream the butter and Nutella together. Epic fail. Any chocolate cake without boiling water and oil just feels dry to me. So just trust me on this. Once to sift all of your dry ingredients, which include all-purpose flour, baking powder, baking soda, salt, and cocoa powder. You want to sift them so there aren't any lumps in the batter. And if you're wondering why I'm using cocoa powder for a Nutella cake, I'll tell you why. If you don't use cocoa powder, it'll taste like a vanilla cake with a hint of Nutella. If you know me well, you know that I prefer chocolate, and especially when Valentine's is right around the corner. So now we're going to place all of the dry ingredients into the wet, and we're going to whisk them together. We're then going to pour some hot boiling water slowly while whisking or some hot coffee. By the way, my mom hates the idea of adding water to a cake. Even if the instructions call for water on a box cake, she'll replace it with milk. When I got older, I realized that the cake would actually turn out more moist when using water. I'm pretty sure the cake manufacturers did tons of cake testing, so let's trust the water method. Don't be afraid to use water, it's not a big deal. Okay, so here I have two 9-inch cake pans which I buttered and floured. It's kind of annoying to do, but that's my favorite method. I prefer buttering and flouring over using parchment paper. You may use parchment paper, just make sure to do one or the other so the cakes don't stick. We're going to bake these in a preheated oven at 350 degrees for about 28 to 30 minutes. So now we're going to get started on our Nutella cream cheese frosting. Here I have some unsalted butter and some cream cheese. Cream those together and then add a tiny splash of vanilla extract. I used about 4 tablespoons of Nutella. You may use more or less than that. Some cocoa powder, some powdered sugar, a little bit of milk. And then we're going to mix this on high speed for about 3-4 to four minutes. And of course don't forget to scrape the sides and bottom of your bowl. So when the cakes are done baking, you want to let them cool completely, otherwise the frosting will melt. Frosting is butter and sugar and with heat, both tend to melt. We're going to place a good amount of frosting. Make sure to place enough. You don't want to place too little or else you will have cake crumbs. Cake crumbs sound yummy, but they don't look very nice. Place your second layer on top and then place all of the remaining frosting. We're going to try to frost this as best we can. The top is the easiest to frost. The sides are a bit difficult, although with this cake you don't have to worry about being neat. You may be super sloppy with the sides because we are going to cover these up. Yay! I like to do this swirly spread to make it a little nicer. I'm using these chocolate hazelnut cigars to cover the sides. They are really long so I had to chop them. Some might not be the same size, but that's okay. They are really simple to place. They automatically stick to the cake because of the frosting. You want to take some string and tie a little bow or a knot. Make sure not to tie it too tightly, just enough to hold everything together. I place raspberries all over the sides, only for decoration, but they go great with this cake. So try to sneak a lot of raspberries onto your plate. Once you have one bite with a raspberry, you're going to want every other bite with a raspberry. I crumbled some of the pirouettes and placed them on the center and I thought this cake looked so beautiful. If you make this for a loved one, they are going to be overwhelmed with joy. I promise. You know those cakes that look gorgeous but taste horrible and dry? Not this cake. Please make this. I hope you guys give this recipe a try. Hope you enjoyed this video and thank you guys so much for watching.